Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Buenas noches. Hello, class. Good evening. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to your new module. Welcome to module number two. I am very happy that many of you are connecting right now. So once everybody's here, we're going to start. I hope all of you are ready and happy to be here. There. Hello, Vilma. Hello, Mr. Roberto. Hello, uh, Rosa Maria, Mirna Jasmine, Fatima, Mireya. Welcome. Hello. Okay, remember to have your camera on during the complete session so I can Hello. see you and we can work together. Hello, welcome. Welcome everybody. Okay, I am happy that all of you are connecting and that all of you are on time, that it's very important that all of you are on time so we can take the best advantage of these classes. So it is nice that you are all here. Okay, Rosa Maria, can you listen to me? ¿Me escuchas, Rosa Maria? Chicos, ¿me pueden escuchar todos? Yes, okay. yes, okay, it's because, yes, yes, okay, good. Let's see, maybe Rosita, can you listen to me? Rosa Maria, me puede escuchar, Rosa Maria? Mezclamos hasta incorporarlo todo. Y mientras mezclo nuestra registración. Well, so let's start our class. Today it's our first day. We are going to be together during this module. And I am very, very happy to be here with all of you. Okay. So tell me, all of you are coming from the previous module, from module number one. Estaban juntos en el módulo pasado, en el módulo uno? No. No. Ana Leticia, this is your first time? Eh, pues son nuevos todos. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, solo Rosa María, creo. Estaba en, mi, en el módulo anterior. Okay, perfect. So, but you were studying in the previous module. Hello, Vilma. Hello. A Rosita, no sé si ya me escucha. Puede darme like ahí en la pantalla si me escuchan. Buenas noches. Hello, Sandra. Okay, for all the other ones, remember, important to have your camera on. La cámara tiene que estar encendida durante los 60 minutos de clase, chicos. Así que, porfa, ayúdenme con eso para que nos podamos ver todos y que podamos interactuar de la mejor manera en la clase. Así que les agradezco mucho, pues, abrir un espacio en su hogar para, pues, recibirme y, pues, que todos estemos trabajando juntos. Okay, thank you for your cameras and we can start work. Okay, first of all, I want to welcome everybody. I want to welcome you to the class and 
for sure, I am going to do my best in order to help you, okay? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this new module, module number two. I am going to do my best to practice only English with you because the only way to learn a language is to listen to the language, okay? Esta es la mejor manera de aprender un idioma, es escuchándolo tanto como se pueda. So, I will ask you to practice as well. I need you to practice the language. I need you to practice a lot. I am going to ask you to practice a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? So you are going to have conversations. You are going to participate. You are going to talk a lot. Así que be ready, okay? Vamos a practicar un montón. Vamos a producir el idioma un montón. Que no les dé miedo, que no les dé pena, porque... Todos tienen la capacidad de hacerlo. Lo único que nos detiene a veces es el miedo. No, no puedo. Aquel habla más bonito que yo, que no sé qué. No. Practice the language. Practice the conversations. Do the homework, right? Van a tener tareas, así que do the homework. And you're going to practice a lot. Okay, don't be afraid. No, teacher, que participe otro. No, 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 no. You have to... Take the chance, right? Take the chance to participate. Take the chance to talk. And we are going to start, right? We are going to start. As it says on the screen, así como dice en la pantalla, welcome to your new experience. Welcome to your new class, okay? And I am going to introduce myself. Today, we are going to be covering the simple present, right? We are going to check that in a second. But I wanted to introduce myself first. This is me, right? This is me. This is your teacher. Hoy van a conocer un poquito acerca de su teacher. ¿Quién es su teacher? So this is me, right? This is me. This is my name. My name is Evelyn Natalie Monterosa, right? I am a licenciada en idioma inglés, opción enseñanza. And I have different studies that uh, during my whole life that I have been doing, right? I have my licenciatura in idiomas. I have many different diplomados in metodologías, liderazgo, e-learning, teaching. And for sure, I have different courses in didactic, pedagogy, planning. I am exactly as you are. Yo soy tanto como ustedes, un English expert in progress, in process. Todos somos expertos en inglés en proceso. Estamos aprendiendo cada día. Yo aprendo cada día. Ustedes aprenden de mí. Yo aprendo de ustedes. Aprendemos de todos. So, I have been a teacher for 19 years of my life. Llevo 19 años de carrera docente. I was a teacher at Universidad Católica de Occidente. I was also a teacher at Instituto Americano de Idiomas. I was an interpreter and a translator at Fundación CFCA in Santa Ana. I worked for 10 years in Programa Empresarial Superate. I have been working for two years with Regal International. I am the principal of English Learning Center San Salvador. And I am a Fulbright TA alumni, right? Soy exalumna de la Embajada como eh, representante de Teaching Excellence and Achievements of El Salvador. So this is me. This is the experience that I have for you, and I hope to use it in the best way. Esta, toda esta experiencia que he juntado a lo largo de mi caminar docente, la pongo a su disposición para que ustedes aprendan un poquito de lo que yo sé y que puedan mejorar sus habilidades estudiantiles. So, this is me, and you can call me Teacher Nati, Miss, Licenciada, whatever you, you want, but the most common one is Teacher Nati. Right, that's the one that I like more. Teacher Nati, this, Teacher Nati, that. So you can call me Teacher Nati. So remember that we are going to be working for 16 days. Vamos a trabajar 16 días de corrido. And it is very necessary to have at least 80% of the homework and evaluations to complete the course. All the homework is in the platform, right? Toda la tarea está en la plataforma como lo hicieron en el módulo pasado. And for sure, la plataforma no tiene límite de trabajo. 
usted puede empezar su plataforma el día de mañana, completarlo el día de mañana, no hay ningún problema. ¿Ok? The idea is that you work on the platform as much as possible. ¿Ok? Si usted quiere avanzar dos secciones, dos unidades de la plataforma, no problem. ¿Ok? So, but I have two different calendars for this. Yo se los he dividido en dos momentos específicos. The midterm exam for June 1st and the final exam for June 13th. ¿Ok? Para el 1 de julio tiene que estar completada las secciones 1, 2, 3 y el midterm. Y para el 13 de junio, todas las, las otras secciones y el final exam. ¿Ok? So that would be for June 13th. Porque el módulo se acaba el 15 de junio. Entonces, para el 13 de junio tiene que estar todo terminado. Y usted me va a decir, teacher, ¿y por qué el 13 si se acaba el 15? Porque todos mis alumnos tienen todo listo antes que el módulo termine. Así el día del final, usted está tranquilo, feliz y completo. So, nadie anda corriendo de que la plataforma, mira, entre el ejercicio. No, you have to work on that. So, there is no problem at the end with the platform. Okay? So, keep this in mind. ¿Para cuándo tenemos que tener terminado el midterm? Para el 13 de junio. No, el midterm. Para el 1 de junio. Para el 1 de junio. Para el 1 de junio. ¿Y toda la plataforma? El 13 de junio. El 13 de junio. Ok, perfecto. Right? Good. I, I really like that you keep in mind. Remember to keep your complete name when you connect on the platform, right? In any case, I creo que no tengo ningún caso de oyentes, uh, the camera should be on during the complete session. Uh, remember, if we are not using the microphone, turn it off and you have to participate in every single class. That is really important, right? Participation is very necessary and it's very important. Attendance, I am going to take the attendance in the middle of the class. Siempre le voy a tomar asistencia a la mitad de la clase, por ahí de las 9.30, para asegurarme que ya estén todos conectados. Tienen que cumplir los 60 minutos de cada clase, conectarse siempre sus 60 minutos para que logren completar el porcentaje de asistencia. When you listen to your name, you say here or present, okay? Cuando yo les diga su nombre en la asistencia, me dicen here or present, okay? That's very important. Imagínense que les tomo lista ahorita, ¿cómo me contestarían? Present teacher, here teacher. Here, 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 teacher. here teacher, present teacher, very good. Yeah, and in the camera, right? That's very important. Todo por cuestiones de auditoría tiene que quedar en cámara. Así que, porfa, su cámara siempre encendida. Any type of permission you need, any type of situation that it's very and extremely necessary, you do it with the person in charge of the group. Okay? The person in charge of the group in WhatsApp is, uh, if I am not mistaken, let me see, it's going to be... Mauricio Jiménez, right? Mauricio Jiménez es el encargado del grupo, así que cualquier cosa ustedes se refieren rapidito con él. Igual está Flor, está Emily, está Jason, están todos los encargados de inglés corporativo. En cualquier caso de emergencia, the first with them, okay? And then you tell me. Siempre que necesiten algo que sea de extrema necesidad, Primero con todos los encargados. Ahí están todos en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp, chicos? Sí, ¿ya están todos? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Very good job. Very good job. So, no, yo no estoy en ese grupo de WhatsApp. Hoy le pregunté a don Mauricio y no me contestó porque ya le pregunté hoy ya tarde. Ok, so uh, I am going to send you the link in a couple of minutes. Ok, Wendy. I am okay. going to, to send you the link for you to... Uh, connect okay yeah, there is. Well, okay right now let me just let me just mark here okay i send you there for you to send me a message and i can answer with the with the link okay so that's very important right keep that in mind 
In the case of Zoom, I know all of you can use it. We have different buttons. We have the silence, the mute, the camera, the chat, the breakout rooms. De repente lo voy a mandar a trabajar en grupos. Le va a salir una invitación en su pantalla que dice unirse al grupo tal. Y usted le da aceptar. Ok, Ahí eso no sirve para trabajar en grupos. Si necesitan ayuda, en los grupos hay un botón que dice Ask for Help. Usted me puede llamar y yo les ayudo. Igual en la plataforma, en la parte de reacciones, donde tienen un emoticono, hay una parte que dice levantar la mano. Si ustedes necesitan algún tipo de apoyo, ustedes rapidito, mire, me levantan la mano. Ahí, y me va a salir este icono a mí. Y yo sé que usted necesita ayuda en él. Ok, so you have to be, you have to use all these characteristics, ok. And for sure, we have the different calendars of activities. I am going to lower my hand. Voy a bajar mi manita porque ya no la estoy ocupando. We have the calendar of activities, the ones that I, I was um, sharing with you right here. And all these are the activities that we are going to be working, okay? As I told you, I have organized it in this way, right? Sections one and two in the first week, week number two, section three in the midterm exam, week number three, sections four and five, and week number four, final exams, okay? So this is how we're going to be working on the platform, okay? Ese es su avance para la plataforma. It is very important that you accomplish every single part of this, okay? This is the different advancement that we are going to be having in the platform. I know that you have been working on the platform. Who's, who is here for the first time? ¿Hay alguien aquí que esté por primera vez en las clases? ¿Alguien que se esté conectando por primera vez ahora? O oh, no, ya habían estado en clases antes. Entonces ya conocen la plataforma. Let me just go to the platform a little bit. Okay. Here, I am going to show you the platform. And okay. This is what you have on the platform. Thank you for the ones who sent the image here. Let me see. Oh, Efraín, you cannot connect. Okay. So this is the platform that we are going to have. And this is what you are going to be working, okay? What you are going to be working here It has five different sections. Tiene cinco secciones, si se fijan. And on this section right here, aquí arriba, en, el, en la barra de opciones, tienen una opción que se llama Students Manual. Okay, este es el libro que vamos a estar ocupando. Aquí lo puede descargar. Si usted le da clic aquí, se le va a abrir otra pantalla donde puede puede tener acceso al libro y lo puede descargar en esta parte donde dice download, ¿ok? Si usted lo descarga, pues ya lo va a tener en su computadora, en su teléfono y ya tiene acceso a poder utilizarlo, ¿ok? ¿Ya descargaron el manual, chicos? Todavía no. ¿No? Okay, que no le, no le dé pena, que no le dé pena contestar. El manual está justo en la parte no de arriba. No, aún no. Ok, entonces ya les queda de tarea. Esa es la primera no, tarea que vamos a hacer mañana. Descargar el manual. Tenemos que descargar el manual para que ustedes lo tengan y puedan ir estudiando también a su ritmo. Ok, y ya mañana para la clase ya todos lo tengan descargado. Ok, so this is the book here. You have the five different sections. Each section, right? Si entran a cada sección, cada sección tiene alrededor de cuatro o cinco ejercicios. Todos los ejercicios que tienen el lapicito son evaluados. Okay, todos estos. Este es explicativo. 
un video explicativo. Este es un poquito de teoría. Video explicativo y tarea. Las tareas en muchas de las ocasiones son de multiple choice, yes or no, true and false. Y hay unas que son de completar. Tenemos que tener mucho cuidado en las que son de completar mayúsculas, puntos, espacios, ¿ves? para que no les dé tanto problema a la plataforma. Okay? And all the sections are the same. Right? You have the different exercises and you have to complete all of them. Some of them are readings, some of them are listenings, so you have to be careful with this. So this is the platform. This is the platform that you have to be checking and working on every single day. Okay, every day you have to work on this. Any question about the platform? Preguntas de la plataforma, chicos? No? No, this year. Okay. okay, if everything's clear, let's move on to the next one, right? Let's continue here then. Let's continue with my presentation. So, Important things about the virtual class, people. Participate as much as you can during the class. Enjoy this moment that it's for yourself. Ese es un momento de participar. Disfrútenlo. Aprendan un montón. Hagan preguntas. Díganme, yo quiero participar, teacher. Me, teacher. I want to do the conversation. Okay? Participate as much as you can. Number two, set your space to work, right? Adopten un lugar en su casa donde ustedes se puedan concentrar, donde no tengan distractores, donde puedan estar totalmente enfocados en la clase. Un lugar con buena iluminación. Yo nunca recomiendo la cama porque a veces empezamos y veo que mis estudiantes se van derritiendo de repente así y los pierdo. Y de repente pues escucho cantares ahí eh, en los micrófonos y eso no. De repente no. Please, in the bed, it's not recommendable. I don't recommend you to use the bed. But if you are on the bed, set your space, right? Si están en la cama, pues pongan su espacio, una mesita, algo ahí cercano, donde puedan estar cómodos. Lejos de la tele, please, porque si no, estamos aquí. Aquí la teacher y aquí el ojo en la tele. <laughs> so, please, not on the television. I love the pets. Yo amo las mascotas, es más, la mía toma las clases junto conmigo. But keep them away, right? I need you to have a notebook. A notebook, a pen, and a pencil. ¿Dónde está su cuaderno, su lapicero? Muéstremelo, a ver. Where is your notebook? Where is your notebook, your pen, and your pencil? I need, you to, I need to see your notebook. Ah, if you don't have it, corra y le quita uno al niño. <laughs> I need you to have your notebook. And your pen and pencil, right? You need to have your pen and pencil. And because you are going to take notes, okay? Es cierto que podemos recordar muchas cosas, pero a veces esta nos traiciona. ¿Qué dijo la teacher que se decía qué? And then you don't remember. Take notes, okay? Take notes. That's very important. To take notes, to have your notebook every day. <clears throat> Ask questions. Right? If I am busy at the moment that you have a question, send it on the chat. Okay? Si yo estoy ocupada en el momento que usted tiene una pregunta, mándemelo al chat and I will answer your question. Okay? Stay away from pets or family that might distract you or interrupt you. Okay? Queremos mucho a su familia, queremos mucho a sus mascotas, pero aclaremos que este es un momento de aprendizaje. Dígales hijos, esposo, hermanos, estoy en clase. Así que porfa, respetemos este momento. A veces es difícil, es complicado, pero platiquémoslo para que usted también disfrute esta experiencia de aprendizaje de la mejor manera y que no lo interrumpan a cada rato. Stay away from any device or television that might distract you. This is an enemy. If you say, like, I just let me check, teacher, and then you start watching Facebook, right? No, 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 no. Focus on the class, okay? And the television as well, or any other device, please. Uh, you don't have to have them there. Nelson, tell me. What do you need? 
Hello, teacher. Good night. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Tell me. Eh, pues una disculpa porque he tenido bastantes inconvenientes para poder ingresar a la clase. El día viernes creo que iniciamos, si no me equivoco. No, este, hoy. <risa> hoy es nuestro primer día. Eh, el viernes creo que dieron como las indicaciones, no sé. Ajá, ¿verdad? sí, sí, sí. Ajá, no pude entrar. Entonces, este, eh, me escribieron al correo a través de inglés corporativo y me enviaron la información del link y todo. Este, pero como también tengo clases en la universidad, y el licenciado como que tiende a, a tardarse un poquito, se me complicó y hasta ahorita me estoy conectando, espero no, no haya problema por eso. Bienvenido Efraín, Te, tratemos bueno. que en todas las otras clases estemos a tiempo, ¿ok? Esperemos que, esperemos que los licenciados sean puntuales. <risa> si, no, si no, tú puedes iniciar sesión en tu teléfono. Eh, para que ya estés con la sesión iniciada y ya después te incorporas oh. a la computadora. Ok, muchas gracias. That's a good tip. Thank you very much. Thanks to you for informing. So, I am going to call the attendance, my dear students. I am going to call the attendance and please, if you listen to your name, remember to say here or present, okay? Let me just check. Yes, I am going to call the attendance and Please answer with here or present at the moment you listen to your complete name. Let me just load this one. And here it is. Oh, it's Ana e Leticia. Is that your name? Or it's Ana Leticia? Yeah. No, es Ana e Leticia. E Leticia. Hey, in my 19 years of life as a teacher, it is the first e Leticia that I have. En 19 años nunca había conocido un nombre como el tuyo. Very beautiful. La verdad, la verdad que todos se confunden. En la universidad también, es, todos así como Ana Leticia o no es e Leticia. E Leticia. Wow. Welcome, Ana e Leticia. Eh, Ana Yamilet Cruz. Ana Yamilet Cruz. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Cynthia Marisol Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Edgardo Mengíbar. Present. Fátima Ivín Peña Vázquez. I, I saw her. I remember. Yeah, Fatima Ivin. It's right here. Mayerly Alejandra. Mayerly. I don't see Mayerly. Eh, Mayerly Jamilet. Presente, Miss. Thank you very much. Eh, Mireya Beatriz Cantón. Present. Thank you. Yeah, Fatima. Yeah, she's working. Let me see. Let's go here. Okay. Mirna Jasmine Portillo. Mirna Jasmine. Miss Mirna. No, no, teacher. Ustedes pueden ser mis ojos también. Si no la ven conectada, ayúdenme. The next one, Nelson Efraín. Present. Thank you. Oh, Mirna, it's right here. Mirna Jasmine. Yes. <clears throat> Aquí estoy. Nubia Daisy. Present teacher. Eh, Reina Jael. Reina Jael. Thank you very much. Primera vez. Oh my God, you're sick. Oh my God. Yeah, primera vez que escucho su nombre también. Reina Jaez. Very beautiful. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Here, teacher. Thank you. Rosa María Salazar. Here, teacher. Roxana Yasmín Cedillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Roxana Yamilet López. Roxana Yamilet. Okay, no, I don't have. Uh, let's continue. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Thank you very much. Ubaldo Antonio Rosa. 
Mr. Waldon. Not here. Veronica Elizabeth. Present. Thank you very much. Vilma Concepción Sarceño. Vilma Concepción. Vilma. Present. Oh, thank you. Present. Veronica Elizabeth Vázquez. Yes. Eh, Vilma Concepción. Vilma Isabel Morejón. Okay. Yes. Morejón, yes, thank you very much. Violeta Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Wendy Lisette. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Wendy, sorry, Jennifer Damisela. Present teacher. Thank you. What a beautiful name. <laughs> Damisela. Thank you. Okay, I am just missing Vilma Concepción Sarceño. Right, it is not connected. Vilma Concepción Sarceño. No, I don't have it. Vilma Vindel. Okay. Vilma. Okay, Vilma Vindel, usted es. Bueno, no. Tengo a Vilma Concepción Sarceño de Cepeda. Ese es los. Is that you? Eh, sí, pero yes, mi apellido de soltera también es Arceño. Por eso le digo present. Ah, ok. Porque me sale, Vilma, Vilma Vindel me salía en, en Zoom y aquí me salía Sarceño de Cepeda. Correcto. Ok, good, good, good. good. Eh, Ubaldo is not here. Roxana Yamilet. No, right. Eh, Mayerly, Alejandra. And Anna Yamilet. I am missing four. Well, so let's work. Let's work and let's move on business. It is very important. Thank you very much for your attendance and for answering when I ask. Let's move on business, right? Agreements for the class. This is very important that you get to know them, okay? What are agreements? Do you know the meaning of that? What is the meaning of agreements? What is the meaning of agreements? Alguien sabe qué significa agreements? Uh -huh. No one? Agreements son acuerdos. Acuerdo. Acuerdos de clase. I created them for you so we can practice all of them every class. Okay? What is the first one? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el primero? What is number one? Hi, teacher. Go ahead, Nubia. Uh, eh, number one, practice your English as much as possible. Practice your English as much as possible. Thank you, Nubia. Very good job. Practice your English as much as possible. Number two, what is it? Anybody else? Anybody else? Hi, teacher. Go ahead, Roxy. Go ahead, Roxy. Ask for help when needed. Perfect. Number three. Yeah. Go ahead, Wendy. Keep your camera on all the time. Keep your camera on all the time, right? Number four, who can help me? Thank you, Wendy. Number four. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep microphones off if we are not using them. Okay, keep microphones off if we are not using them. Number five. At all your session of time. Attend all your sessions on time. Thank you, Rosa Maria. Perfect job. Attend all your sessions on time. Number six. Anybody can help me. Open your microphone and help me. Number six. Six. Participate as much as pos possible. Participate as much as possible, right? Number seven. Number seven. Anybody can help me. Good. 
gave a participation attitude during class. Okay. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Number eight. Thank you, Daniel. Number eight. Ajá, vamos a ver, el más sonriente vamos a agarrar. Efraín, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> ya me poncho bien. <laughs> Number eight. Ok, yo casi no puedo mucho la pronunciación en inglés, pero acá vamos. Don't worry. Collaborate. Ay, collaborate with, collaborate, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group very good collaborate with your friends on the whatsapp group and number nine go go ahead roberto practice your speak with uh, the audios every day okay practice your speaking with the audios every day and you might say like ah what is it durante las clases durante la semana le voy a enviar diferentes tareas a whatsapp donde ustedes tienen que responder con audios en inglés. Okay? Because I need you to practice. Because I need you to develop your speaking. Okay? Todos dicen que el que no habla en la clase de teacher Nati es porque es mudo. <laughs> That's the only reason that you are not going to speak. Because you, I make you speak because I make you speak. And I really need you to practice that. Okay? Please. In the morning, when you say, like, for example, you are going to receive the message and say, so, like, read these words. Lean estas palabras, lean estas frases, contesten esta pregunta, okay? Contesten el audio, hagan la tarea. No así de, ay, la teacher, qué linda, visto. No, I need you to answer. I need you to do the homework. It's going to take one minute of your day. One minute, five minutes can make the difference, okay? Si practican cinco minutos, si practican tres, si practican diez, si practican veinte, cada día, you will see the difference, okay? So please do it, okay? It is very important that you do the practices. So, survival language, because I can see that you don't speak too much, but survival language, important. In the class, you say, teacher, how do you say? Teacher, how do you say? And then you tell me uh, about anything. Teacher, how do you say? How do you say uh, zapatos in English? Teacher, how do you say botella in English? Teacher, how do you say jocotes in English? Ask questions. How do you say jocotes in English? Uh huh. Jocotti. No. Jocote. <laughs> <laughs> in English, how do you say jocotes in English? They are called mom beans okay they are called mom beans that's the name of the hokotes in english teacher what's the meaning say teacher what is the meaning of teacher what is the meaning of and then you tell me what about something teacher what is the meaning of agreements teacher what is the meaning of a uh, keep Teacher, what is the meaning of uh, sentences? Okay, use the vocabulary. Teacher, can you help me? Teacher, can you help me? Me ayuda, teacher. Teacher, um, I do not understand. Teacher, I do not understand and I can help you again, right? This is vocabulary that you can use in class, right? Teacher, how do you write? How do you write? What is the difference if you ask me, teacher, how do you say, and teacher, how do you write? Uh-huh. ¿Qué diferencia va a haber en el, en el momento que usted me, eh, me haga la pregunta? Teacher, how do you say? Y cuando me pregunte, teacher, how do you write? Y que, how do you say? Quiere preguntar que, ¿cómo se dice? Y how do you write? ¿Cómo se escribe? Exactly like that. If you tell me, teacher, how do you say botella in English? Bottle. 
te voy a dar nada más la palabra. But if you tell me, teacher, how do you write bottle? I am going to tell you. Ah, it is B-O-T-T-L-E, bottle, right? And I'm going to give you the word. I'm going to give you the written form of the word, okay? So let me see in the case. I, I need someone. Someone is having problems with the microphone. Mirna, desconecta los, desconecta los, los audífonos. Hoy ya te escucho. Hoy sí. <laughs> okay. Solo, solo, Ay, la, solo la vi fin. y lo arreglé. You see? The magic of being a teacher. <laughs> teacher, how do you write? Right? That is uh, another form. Okay. Let me see. Another word that you, another question that you can use in class. Teacher, uh, what's the meaning? Can you help me? How do you say? I don't understand. How do you write? Okay, I think we can use those. Repeat with me, please. Repeat after me. Teacher, how do you say? Teacher, teacher. how do you say? How do you say? How do you say? How do you say bicicleta teacher, in English? How do you say? How do you say bicicleta teacher, in English? How do you say? Teacher, how do you say? Teacher, how do you say? Okay, now. Tell me about one word that you want to know. Digan una palabra que quieren saber. Teacher, how do you say taza in English? Cup. Uh -huh. Teacher, how do you say... Pregúntenme, vamos a ver. Teacher, how do you say ventilador in English? It's fan. Fan. F-A-N. Fan. Uh -huh. Another question. Teacher, how do you say um, caja in English? Box. Thank you. Oh, otro ejemplo. Uh -huh. More examples. Teacher, how do you say florero? In English, flower pot. Yeah, in English. Flower pot. Flower pot. Flower pot. Uh -huh. Another one. Teacher, how do you say Box. mesa in English? Mesa, table. Another one. Teacher, how, how do you say collar de perlas in English? Color pearl. Color pearl. The one that you have right now. The, I have a black one and you have a white one, I think. <laughs> Teacher, yes? how do you say a cuadro? Cuadro in English, picture. Or picture frame. Picture frame. Another one. Teacher, how do you write? Complicado. Complicated. Very good. How do you write? Y así se los estoy poniendo a todos. Complicated. Very good. Teacher. Another example. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Algo que no sepan y quieran saber. Teacher, ¿no? how do you say pain in English? Comb. Comb. And hairbrush it's another one hairbrush is the one that you use es cepillo comb is peine so i need to comb my hair you say con un peine i need to brush my hair con un cepillo okay any other question teacher how do you write cepillo in english okay brush brush solo cepillo es brush si es para el pelo hairbrush. Si es para los dientes, toothbrush. So it has different things. Entonces en ese caso sería toothbrushes para los toothbrush. dientes. Exactly like that. Yeah. Exactly like this. Okay. okay, good. Any other question? I will give you one more. Sure. Yes? How do you say silla? Sí. Silla. Sí, Cincho. Ah, cincho. Belt. Belt. Please don't use it in the phrase, I will give you with the belt. No, right. Solo en la frase que no la vamos a ocupar, te voy a dar con el cincho. I will give you with the belt. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't do it. And that one, it's called punish. Darle a alguien con el cincho o pegarle, así como en buen salvadoreño, cuando uno se lo sonaban por las notas, se llama Punish. Punish. No. 
punish. Castigarlo. Teacher, how do you spell? How do you spell means how do you use every single letter of this? How do you spell a scarf? S C A R F, right? Scarf. Scarf. This is scarf. What is the meaning of a scarf, people? What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning Bufanda. of this? Bufanda. Bufanda. Very good. How do you spell? How do you spell? Ho. ¿Cómo lo deletreamos? How do you spell? Significa cómo se deletrea. How do you spell po? P -A, P A W. P A W. P A W. What is the meaning of po? P P what is the meaning? No idea. No sé qué significa. Me voy y le pregunto a mi amigo más cercano. The dictionary. You need to get a dictionary and look for it quickly. Les recomiendo que descarguen un diccionario en su teléfono. O se van rapidito a su amigo o su amigo Google y le pregunten. O es pata, pero pata de perrito, de gatito, right? Cebolletita. Po. Right? El perrito no tiene manos, no lo dice my dog's hands, right? Po es pata. Here we have the next one. How do you spell this one? F I E Okay, it's camp, campo. Campo de qué? Soccer field, baseball field, right? Campo de juegos, right? Field, campo. So those are the different words that you can use, right? That is the vocabulary that we are going to be using, right? Si a, me a media clase usted ven una palabra nueva. Teacher, what is the meaning of that? Teacher, what is the meaning of this? Teacher, can you help me? What is the meaning what is the of? Meaning? What is the meaning of? Imagínense que usted no sepan este. And you say, teacher, what is the meaning of a scarf? Oh. And I will say, bufanda, right? Scarf. For what example. Is, what, is, what is the meaning? What's what the, is the meaning, meaning, right? What's the meaning? If we go back what here, for example, in this one. Let me just mark this one. And I will leave you here. I will erase this one. And I will... I will keep you right here. Okay, from these ones, do you know the meaning of all these words? ¿Saben el significado de todas esas palabras que les estoy mostrando ahí? Uh -huh. You know, lo utilizamos y me dice, teacher, what's the meaning of? Keep. Keep, mantener. Keep means mantener. Ask. Ask, preguntar. Preguntar. That's the meaning, ask. Any other one? Needed. Needed, cuando sea necesario, right? Cuando sea necesario, when needed. Keep, mantener. Any other one? Okay, that's the way you use it. Teacher, what's the meaning of? What's the meaning of attend, you say? What do you mean it during? During, durante. What do you mean it during, teacher? What's the durante. meaning of during? Durante, right? Mm. And that's the way we do it. What is the meaning of? What is the meaning of? And that's the way it is. So remember the vocabulary from the class. It's very necessary. Ese lo vamos a estar ocupando todos los días. Ese vocabulario lo vamos a usar en cada clase. Teacher, how do you say? Teacher, what's the meaning? Teacher, how do you say? Okay. But right now, I have been talking a lot. 
I want to meet the team. I want to meet my little family that I have here. Because on these days, we are going to become a little family. Nos vamos a hacer una familia chiquitita. Que se van a ayudar ahí entre todos. Hey, me traen tal ejercicio de la plataforma. Mira, ayúdame, que no sé qué. Para eso es el grupo de WhatsApp. Para que nos apoyemos entre todos. Si de repente hay algún ejercicio que le está fallando, que no lo puede trabajar, póngalo en el grupo. Hey, chicos, necesito ayuda con tal ejercicio. Ok, le puedo apoyar. Yo le puedo apoyar a cualquiera del grupo. Y para eso estamos, right? To support each other. We're going to share a little bit about my ourselves. Is my favorite food is my favorite sport. It's okay. my home and my favorite. In these ones, we're going to share. Animal is. We're home. going to share our favorites. Repeat with me. Favorite. 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 Okay. No es favorite. It's favorite. 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 My favorite. My favorite. My favorite food is. My favorite food is. My favorite sport is. My favorite sport is. My hobbies are. My 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 favorite color is. My, my, my favorite, favorite, favorite is. Favorite my favorite, favorite, is. Animal, favorite animal, animal is. My name. My, my name. name. My name. My name. Yes. My name. 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 My name is exactly like that, and you pronounce right. My name is my name. My favorite food is my favorite sport is my favorite my favorite color is my favorite color is my favorite. Favorite. My favorite. My favorite. Favorite. Hagan de caso que les quito la O. ¿Cómo lo leemos? Favorite. Favorite. Right? Favorite. 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 Ah, favorite. favorite. Así lo leemos, pero la palabra es así. My favorite. Exactly like that. My favorite. Okay. My favorite. favorite. So you say, favorite. this is my example, ¿ok? Yo voy a hacer mi ejemplo y ustedes escriban el suyo. My name is Nati. Right, my favorite food is pupusas. My favorite sport is basketball. My favorite sport is basketball. My hobbies are to read and to dance. Those are my hobbies, right? My hobbies are to read and to dance. My favorite color is pink. My favorite animal is the cat. This is my information. What about you? I need you to write your information. Escriban la de ustedes. So you say, this is my information. My name is Nati. My favorite food is pupusas. My favorite sport is basketball. My favorite, my hobbies are to read and to dance. My favorite color is pink. And my favorite animal is the cat. Write your information. Escriban la de ustedes. ¿Qué tal? Todo bien, gracias. Write about you. Si no sabemos cómo se dice, ocupamos el vocabulario. Teacher, how do you say carne asada in English? Grilled meat. Write your information, write your information. Lo puedo decir, teacher. You have it, okay. Jennifer Daniel, Jennifer Damisela, sorry, vamos. <laughs> My name's Jennifer. My favorite food is... Uh,
Ah, el, el... Permita. It's okay, it's okay. El momento, el momento de pánico escénico, nervio, ¿qué pasó? No, no. Es que me hablaron, por eso me... Ok, me... don't worry, don't worry. Otra vez. My name is... My name is Jennifer. My favorite food is... Eh, pupusa también. My favorite sport is... Eh, dancing. Ok. Dancing, ok. My hobbies are... Listen to music. Listen to music, ajá. Uh -huh. eh, playing with my son. Ok. My favorite color is black. My favorite animal is the dog. Very good job. Very good job. Ok. Reactions, please. Por ahí tienen unas reacciones. Le pueden mandar muñequitos ahí. Reactions for Jennifer. A clap for you. Very nice. Very nice job. Good job, very good job. Very good pronunciation. Vilma Vindel, go ahead. Sorry? Salt. Uh -huh. uh, my favorite food is ice cream. Okay. My favorite sport is soccer. My hobby is to play the guitar. My favorite color is red. My favorite animal is the rabbit. Hey, the rabbit. Very good job, Vilma. Nice job. Very yeah. good pronunciation. Excellent. Reactions for Vilma people, please. Very good job. Excellent. Let's see. Roxana Jasmine, boss. My name is jasmine my favorite food is uh, soap chicken okay my favorite sport is softball my hobbies are play the piano my favorite color is white my favorite animal is the dog very good job very good job roxana nice pronunciation very good job Reactions for Roxana. Very nice. Excellent. It was a very excellent description. Who's next? Jamilet, go ahead. Okay. My name is, my name is Jamilet. My favorite for pupusas. My favorite uh, sport football. My hobby are the door head and to dance, no sé, pero my favorite colors purple, my favorite animal, un dog. Ok, my favorite, my favorite. Practiquemos la pronunciación de favorite. Favorite. Ok, favorite. so you say my favorite food, my favorite sport, my hobbies my are. My hobbies. My oh. hobbies are, okay, Jamilet, remember when you say my name is, my name is. Good job, Jamilet, good job. Repite conmigo, Jamilet, my favorite. Open your microphone, my favorite. Okay, my favorite food, my favorite sport. My favorite. 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 Very good. My favorite food. My favorite sport. My favorite color. Okay. Okay. Practice, practice, and practice. I need two okay. more volunteers. Dos voluntarios más. Vamos. Yeah, uh, hi, I. Okay. I, I, I. Nubia, then uh, Mirna, then Wendy, and then Anna. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my name is Nubia. My favorite food is a uh, chip. My my favorite sport is a uh, um but um softball. Okay, softball. Yeah, softball. My hobbies are to read 
and to a uh, a movie and to watch movies good yeah <laughs> my favorite color is blue light light blue like blue. yes light ah, light blue very good my favorite my animal is the what do you say tortuga turtle 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 ah, turtle Okay, the turtle and you write it like that turtle turtle my okay, favorite tur animalistic turtle the turtle Turo. right the turtle good very good yeah. it's a it's a difficult word i know it's a very complicated word but it was good thank you Nubia, for participating very good job my thank favorite you, color is very good mirna jasmine vamos okay Turo. my name is jasmine my favorite food is lasagna my favorite sport is volleyball. My hobby are listen to music and song. And sing. My and sing. And sing. Sing. Cantar. Very good. My favorite, favorite color is pink. My favorite animal is dolphin. The dolphin. Very good job, dolphin. Mirna. The dolphin. Excellent. Dolphin. Excellent Thank job. You. Wendy, please. Wendy de Agreda. Go ahead. Okay, sí, está bien dicho. <laughs> My name is Wendy. My favorite food is chicken soup. My favorite sport is tennis. Okay. My hobbies are to read. My favorite color is sky blue. My favorite animal is dog and cats. Oh, dogs and cats. Excellent job. Very good job. Congratulations. Ana Leticia en Rosa María va a ser nuestro último participante. Vamos. My name is Ana. My favorite food is pupusas. Uh, my favorite sport is fútbol. My hobby is dancing. My favorite color is light blue. Y my favorite animal is um, dog. Y no sé cómo se dice el perico. Ah, parakeet. 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 Okay. Parakeet. Okay. The parakeet. Okay. The parakeet. You have it there. Parakeet. Double R. Parakeet. There you go. It's like that. The parakeet. Rosa Maria. My name is Rosa Maria. My favorite food is quesadilla. My favorite sport is uh, softball. My home. Hobby are to read, um, to listen to music. Uh, my favorite color is uh, green. My favorite animal is the dog. Okay, ¿qué vamos a corregir? Favorite. 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 <laughs> favorite. <Okay. laughs> it is a little bit complicated, I know, but it has been fantastic for your first day. Practice, because you are going to use it. ¿Qué les dije? Vamos a tener audios que enviar todos los días en WhatsApp. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que va a ser su primer audio? Hello, everybody. My name is Nati. My favorite color is my favorite food, my favorite animal, everything. This paragraph has to be on the WhatsApp group tomorrow morning, ¿ok? Tienen todo el día para enviarlo. Hasta antes de la clase, si es posible. But send the audio, ¿ok? Don't feel nervous. Ay, me van a oír. Come on. <laughs> Don't feel nervous, okay? So on the WhatsApp chat, and I'm going to send you the example here, on the WhatsApp chat, you are going to open the WhatsApp chat and you are going to, you are going to send me the audio and you are going to open there in a voice note and you are going to say, hello everybody, my name is Nati, my favorite food are pupusas, my favorite sport is basketball, my hobbies are to read and to dance, my favorite color is pink, and my favorite animal is the cat. And then you click on send, le dan enviar, y miren, ta-da! Menos de 30 segundos de mi vida, y it's done, ahí lo tienen en WhatsApp. So, practice. And I am going to be more than happy to see you tomorrow. Voy a estar muy alegre de verlos mañana. Go and sleep. And I will see you tomorrow for another class.
Thank you. Bye. Bye bye, my dear students. Bye. Nice to meet you. See you Thank tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good night. Hello. Have a good Bye. night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Anna, you are not in the group. Okay, good Anna. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Anita, no se vaya. Okay. See you, teacher. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Anita, send me a message. Por ahí le envío un mensaje a Ana Yamilet para que me envíe un mensaje y yo le mando el link del grupo, ¿ok? Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you.